Yo guys, welcome back to a new PDCGO Battle Styles video. Today guys, we're taking a look at a deck that plays Blastoise, Blastoise, and Blastoise. Yes, we're playing Blastoise VMAX alongside Rocket Splash Blastoise and Powerful Squall Blastoise. Um, this deck kind of has natural synergy. The Blastoise VMAX is Grand Falls Attack, doing 120 and surging deck for up to 3 energy, uh, 3 water energy, putting them on your bench Pokemon can power up for Rocket Splash's attack. Of course, we have the Blastoise Powerful Squall to put energy in play for Rocket Splash, but we also have it for, you know, building up our Blastoise VMAX, and we gotta just try out the starter Pokemon altogether. We've technically played a Charizard Charizard deck, right? We played the Roin Resolve Charizard deck, and I did slip in that Charizard GX with Flare Blitz. So all that's left is Venusaur. And you know what that means. So yeah, for the video, guys, go shout out to the sponsor, Card Cabin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDC Joe pack codes, get them over at Card Cabin. Card Cabin is selling codes online for the cheapest. You guys are looking to pick up any Battle Styles codes, still make sure to get them over at Card Cabin. If you guys are also looking to pick up any other set code like Shiny Fates or Vivid Voltage or Rebel Clash, get them over at Card Cabin. Of course, guys, uh, Card Cabin um, also has all the other codes you're looking for, like any VX or GX promo codes, ETB sleeve codes, stuff like that. Get them over there. If you get any codes over at Card Cabin at the checkout, use my discount code code LDF for a 5% discount on your purchase. Help the channel, help yourself out, and up at Card Cabin. So big shout out to Card Cabin. Check them out. Make sure you use code LDF. Um, Let's look at the list here. So this is what I'm rocking with here. Now, not gonna lie, this deck kind of felt a little clunky to build. There's a lot of stuff I wanted to put in here. Obviously, we wanted to fit in the Blastoise GX, one of the, or the VMAX, sorry. I'm gonna get the names mixed up, trust me. You gotta Blastoise V, Blastoise VMAX, Blastoise, and Blastoise GX. There's like four different kinds of Blastoise in this deck. <laughs> uh, but Mewtwo seemed like a really cool addition too. Obviously, Urshifu and Mewtwo itself is already super popular right now. So having the ability to just use perfection um, to copy Rocket Splash on Blastoise GX. Again, Surshifu is really good. And again, just natural synergy with Blastoise VMAX. Of course, Grand Falls allowing you to put three water energy into play can be good. We also have GMAX Bombard, which is pretty cool. One reason why I like this Blastoise again is because of the beautiful Energy Recycler. Energy Recycler kind of made Blastoise lit again because one of the main issues with this deck was when, you know, something big got knocked out. You lose all your energy. They're all in the discard. Yeah, they're all on Ornate Rod. But now we have Energy Recycler just put five waters back in the deck. Um... I am going all in and playing four powerful Squall Blastoise. It's kind of like the most important card in the deck. So I just, I'm going to max out at four of them. I'm not sure you need four. You could probably go down to three, um, but I'm going with four. We got the Dedenne, the Bat, the Mew. We got the Mew too. A lot of Gen 1 stuff going on here. Uh, the only other card I want to play in here is like maybe like a Zacian or something. Just something to like draw cards to set up into our uh, place. But other than that, this is what I'm rocking with. Um, we got two War Turtles. Again, Blastoise GX can get into play normally, but you can also put into play a through Mew Mewtwo. You can discard it, and then Mewtwo can copy it um, against Urshifu. We got the 2-2 Blastoise VMAX. The Blastoise V is kind of nice. Torrental Cannon is honestly not that bad of an attack. Um, um, this is where things are a little clunky with the items and stuff like that. We have to play 12 Water, right? In this deck, we have to play a lot of energy. Of course, Powerful Squall, allowing you to look at the top six cards of your deck and touch any number of Water Energy. We do have to naturally just play a lot of Water Energy to make sure Powerful Squall is constantly hitting at least two or three energy at a time. So we are going to be playing 12 energy, alongside Energy Recycler. So we have 17 energy in total. I would play an Ornate Rod, which is something you definitely can play. You can maybe cut a Blastoise for an Ornate Rod. It's another way to get energy back. It's another way to get Pokemon back. It's not a bad addition either. Um, got four comms, four quick balls, one Evo Incense. What am I playing a second Evo Instance either? Uh, four candies, three switch. Uh, this deck does need to play a lot of switch apps, I find though. So definitely playing a four switch or a bird keeper or Malana or even just playing like uh, an air balloon or two wouldn't be bad either. But I don't know what I would cut. It's just a bit of a clunky deck. Um, got four Marnie, three research. I am playing two Skylas. Skyla is really good to find her candy. A lot of these stage two decks are playing Skyla now. I'm going to try it out. Got two bosses order and 12 water to round out the list. Yeah, this is the Blastoise party deck. Lots of Blastoise in here. Let's go try it out and get some dubs, hopefully. All right, here we go. Let's get into our first match with the Blastoise Party deck, as I like to call it. And we win the coin flip. All right, we go first, which is good. Um, and all right, we get a couple basics, technically. Uh, we'll see what we're up against here. It could be a grass deck. But Blastoise VMAX is weak to lightning. It is a grass. It's Orbeetle. Okay. We can beat Orbeetle. Orbeetle is like, they may have Cheryl, but if we can build up enough energy with Rocket Splash, we should actually just be able to one-shot them. So this matchup might actually not be that bad. I'm assuming it's Orbeetle. It's definitely, definitely Orbeetle, though. Right, two extra cards. Nothing really too special, I'm not going to lie. This hand is not that great. All right. So we get Squirtle. And we just get a bunch of Squirtles down this turn if we can. It's going to be my 
main goal. Do we have the energy recycler? We do. Put a bunch of squirrels down. I'm just pass the turn. Not gonna attach the energy just yet. Um, we'll see what my opponent gets going here. They have Gourmandize, so we can Marnie them. Hey, they have a Mew. Everyone's got Mew today. Everyone's got Mew. What's the problem with playing these sniping decks? It's a lot of fun to play spread, but everyone's just playing Mew nowadays. Okay, interesting. They're gonna stamp me here. They must be really desperate to do Gourmandize then. Um, to have to stamp me. That's very interesting that they decided to do that. Okay. What do we draw? Our energy. that there evil incense we should have another war turtle in the deck yeah we're vibing bro evolve the bench just marnie them hopefully we don't give them anything good i probably want to get mewtwo in play at some point too okay nice we got skyla this is a pretty good hand pretty good hand we'll pass next turn we have a lot we can do we can get blastoise in play both blastoise in play most likely we can knock out the snorlax with blastoise gx and blastoise gx takes all the energy off of itself can't get damage in my orbital really it'll do like a little bit of damage but not a lot that's our wing con the, this orbital deck when i made my video on it felt very good of course when orbital cannot get one shot the deck is really powerful with cheryl but we're a deck that can easily one shot an orbital so that this matchup honestly isn't that bad for us it's honestly not a bad matchup they're actually just gonna strafe me for 40 here i don't know i hope they go into mew no okay wouldn't mind can the mew there's a crobat top deck all right um Skyla for Pokemon Communication. I don't know what Blastoise I want to get though. I think it just I think it has to be the baby Blastoise, right? And then we just Dene. Yeah, this is fine. Go like this. Switch. Rare candy. And quick ball for Crobat. We could do uh powerful squall first. It's tempting, but I don't think we're going to get much energy. Yeah. We didn't even get the uh, Blastoise GX, which is a bit of an oof. I'm not going to lie, that's a bit of an oof. To be honest, I'm not liking the Blastoise whip there. We'll see what this can get us. Okay, damn. Three energy. Hmm. So let's go put two here. Do we ever we don't ever need to hit this for 60 right i can't well i guess we can knock it out then with grand falls if this gets knocked out we have to find the energy recycler though i don't really like losing the war turtle but if they want to knock me out they need another switch they have a three card hand they need a switch energy they probably do have it i could just hide behind this other squirtle which i think i do we still have three candies left so it's not really a big deal all right, all right. I'll, I'll bite, I'll bite, I'll bite. We'll, we'll do Aqua Slash. They might not have it, right? They might not even be able to move the Snorlax. Who knows? Who knows? I, I'll bite, I'll bite. I'll do it, I'll do it. I'm fine with this play. Hopefully it pays off. We'll have to see, though. We could get punished and knocked out, of course, but we do have... You have that Energy Recycler somewhere in the deck. Okay, they have a Turf Field. They can get the Orbital VMAX online, which is what I'm scared of. Maybe we honestly should have just put the energy somewhere else because we do have to go Blastoise V Mat or EX or GX, sorry. We need to one shot the Orbital and we should have saved the energy, maybe. Especially if we have energy recycler, this Orbital is not gonna go down. But if we make it up the Cheryl itself, then it has to remove the energy anyways. No, they actually had the energy bird keeper. Ugh, dang it, bro. That's super annoying. I mean We can go Blastoise V Max, I guess. I don't know. I don't really want to send a VMAX in a line of fire just yet. That's annoying. I hope they didn't have it, and uh, of course they usually do. Now we need to get Energy Recycler. I'm still going to War Turtle, though, because we still got the Blastoise VMAX. Or the GX. Hey! Ask and you shall receive. To be honest, I kind of wanted to play this after the research, though. Not going to lie. I kind of want to use it after research. Um, I don't know if we're going to hit it. I'm still the Denny, I guess. I mean, we should just probably play it safe and go Grand Falls, right? But then we get boss. Nah, we'll research. We got to try to get a knockout here. Ooh, we do a lot of energy, though. Not a good sign. We have no energy on our active, though, and it doesn't matter too much, right? So, because they, they don't really do much damage to my Blastoise GX, anyways. Here we go. How much energy are we going to hit? Oh! 
we actually got the knockout. Let's go, Blastoise. My gang, gang, gang. The gangiest of gangs. All right, we gotta go 60, 120, 180, 240, 300. We gotta get rid of all the energy, geez, chill. That's all the energy, right? Yeah, all the energy. Nice. That was a huge turn. I, not gonna lie, I didn't really expect to get the KO there, but we did it. The energy recycler top deck was huge. All right, now we're pretty much in a good spot. If we can get another Blastoise, I definitely need to get more high powerful squalls in play though, but we have boss in our hand. So if they bench another Orbeetle here, we might be able to chase it. If we had another switch out though, I would love to go with Grand Falls and just build up something on the bench and then just get ready for the boss knockout. But we can boss knock out the Orbeetle. We can also just knock out the Snorlax, but I think we just target the Orbeetle and just try to chase it if we can. I don't mind killing the Snorlax though, in all honesty, because then we just knock it, I don't know. I don't think it matters, but we'll go for it. Oh, they're going to boss me. They're going to actually target the Blastoise and strap it in the active, which is a little annoying. We can knock him out with Hydro Tackle, I guess. I'm not sure I like that, though. Uh, we're down to switch already. Hmm. Now we got there. Do we take the knockout? I think we do. We could also hard retreat, which... Uh, they could have another boss, though. It's kind of risky, not gonna lie. Hmm. Well, let's see what this gets us. Oh my god! Bro, this is insane. I keep I keep getting energy. Actually, no, I should have went Blastoise there. I know. That's insane. I actually can't believe I actually got the knockout. <laughs> Holy energy. Yeah, we're gonna retreat. knock it right put all the energy back 60 one 21 80 yeah, and they just concede the match let's go blastoise taking down or beetle blastoises might be weak to grass but rocket splash man and we did 420 damage bro look at that all right here we go again into the match we've lost the coin flip to my opponent Let's see what they're playing here all right you get a crowbat start not ideal we have out to we have an out to a squirtle though um, which I'm not sure. Do I want a Squirtle here? Yeah, I think I do. Ooh, we're up against ADP, though. Oh, boy. Old ADP. Maybe we go Blastoise VMAX, because GMAX Bombard is really good in this matchup, especially because it can one-shot Satian. Um. Oh, no, it's Luke Metal. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> Luke Metal's a little tricky to beat. But Rocket Splash kind of does the same thing. You know, we just one-shot them, even though they have that full metal wall. We still have a Rocket Splash, so that's what we should maybe aim for here. Let's do Rocket Splash. Blastoise VMAX is just not gonna, not, probably not gonna come into play in this game. Hate to see it. Well, Marnie, probably gonna have a chance to energy the Crobat, actually. To the Squirtle, because that might turn into Powerful Squall. Quick Ball. And then Marnie, I think we're gonna research here. I'm gonna get rid of the Mewtwo, it's pretty useless in this matchup. In my opinion. Well, actually, no, you know what? Maybe Mewtwo is good. Nah, it's fine. We'll get a Squirtle. Cause it's a three prize. There's a liability, so I don't know. I think I think we can just put Blastoise GX into play and call it a day. I'm not sure I want to go Marnie or Research. Um, I might just Marnie again, to be honest. We'll see. We'll see if they hit energy off Intrepid Sword. I mean, Crobat might be a goner next turn, so I don't know. I might Marnie them. I don't want to get a dead hand though. I don't know. We'll see what they got. Intrepid Sword one time energy. And there we go. And there it is. There's that amazing ability. Can we draw a War Turtle out. We do get a War Turtle. Okay. We got a Del War Turtle. They could have a boss, though, which is what I'm scared of off this Marnie. We could also boss or Luke Metal, I guess. That's not going to put us anywhere. We just Marnie them, of course. And, ooh, okay. This is a really good hand for next turn. If we can actually knock it knocked out here, that would be greatly appreciated. Because this is actually a pretty banging hand. This is a pretty good hand. If they have a boss, bro, off my Marnie, I'm going to be so cheesed. Because this hand is so good. We probably knock out these Asian here if we do not get bosses ordered. Please do not have it, good sir. Thank you. I guess they could play Escape Rope, but they'd have to go Luke Metal, so that wouldn't really work out. So yeah, we can knock out the Zacian. We do, okay, the Metal Goggles actually means we do have to commit a lot of energy, but we can do a lot of energy. All right, cool stuff. Nice thing is we Rocket Splash, Full Metal Wall won't affect us and get rid of our energy. So things are looking pretty good. Let's see if we top deck. Quick Ball. That's a good draw. We can get another... 
Squirtle with that, of course. Just keep getting the Squirtle squad in play. Here we go. We are going to Dedenne first. I mean, you just got to get Blastoise GX here and a lot of other things. There we go. We got it. We got a Marnie too, which is decent. Get this guy. Uh, we can Quick Ball. Not really. I don't really want to. I think I'm just going to Marnie and just go for it. I'm not going to bother doing Quick Ball. I want to keep all those cards. Okay. There's a lot of Blastoises there. And this can be the Termy Powerful Squall. We got no energy off of that. Well then, game. I see how it's going to be. Okay, that's fine. We can just go Rocket Splash. At least we're poking it. Now we just need 4 energy to knock it out. It's not... Well, actually, do we need less? We're doing 90, 130. Okay, now we just need 3 energy to knock it out. Unless they pull him in a wall this turn. That's unfortunate. Fine, though. They already attacked, so they have to go Luke Metal here. And if they go Luke Metal, we can maybe knock it out if we get lucky. Now, we do have the guaranteed Rare Candy into another Rocket Splash. I do want to get another Powerful Squall, because this guy can knock it one shot by Zacian. Yeah, they're going to Mount Lana. That's fine. That's fine. I do want to get another Powerful Squall into play. I'd probably rather second Powerful Squall over second Rocket Splash right now, so... Something I wouldn't mind doing. Maybe, I don't know, maybe we could use Blastoise to max this matchup. I can't see how it's ever going to be good. If it was ADP, I would definitely put it into play, but it's not ADP, so it's just not going to be needed. All right, and they put a Zam down too, and it's like, well, it makes it even harder for us, so... I think we just let them do what they got to do. Our best top deck would be a Calm or another Powerful Squall. Maybe we can just get lucky and knock him out here. I doubt it, though. Hmm, maybe. Well, Quick Ball this away. We, got the, we probably have the Skyla. For, ah, I kind of like Rare Candy. Let's do Powerful Squall first. Yeah, I kind of accept we're not going to kill this thing, but that's fine. They can't get rid of me. Maybe I do just Skyla for Rare Candy. But then we are just... We're going to be stuck with a dead hand. I think I just hold the Skyla. I'm going to hold it, yeah. Blastoise can't get knocked out anyway, so we're just going to hold the Skyla. Smack him for a whopping 60 damage. They can't Mount Lana again um, and heal, so this thing's always going to have that 60 on it for now, so that's good. Uh, they can switch the Mount Lana into the Zacian. Oh, they're going to Marnie me. All right. Perfectly fine. I'm glad I held the Skyla. Um, because if I did play, they might not have Marnied me here. So I'm actually glad we played. We held it. Looks like it paid off. Ooh, we can draw a Pokemon here. Uh, we've already played both War Turtles. Never mind. Okay, Steel Fist for 20. That does put me to 20 HP, which means we have 250 with our abilities. Asian still can't knock me out. Pretty sure, anyways. Let's do research. I'm pretty sure Zacian doesn't kill me because it's only doing 210. Yeah, no rare candy, bro. That's a rip. A big rip, actually. Do this, I guess. Yeah, we got three in the deck. We have all our other blast choices. That's unfortunate. All right, here we go. Powerful Squall. We do get two energy. That is not enough to kill them, but it is enough to hit them hard. Hmm. This is pretty bad. We do need another blast choice in play. We're not going to get knocked out next turn, I don't think, but they are definitely going to get close. Are we one energy short? No. Yeah, we still have a bit of a way to. We still have a bit of ways to go. Oh, they're actually super close to winning. They just have to knock out this Blastoise, and then they kill the Dedenne. Oh, I didn't even realize. Talk about that Crobat knockout. Yikes. Okay, that will put me down to 200, 230. Brave Blade is still only doing 200 damage. There's Rare Candy. Huge top deck. That's what we needed. We needed the other Rare Candy. Now, we have a few things. We have two Switch in the deck, right? So we can potentially switch into the other Blastoise here and to protect this guy. Because we are going to get knocked out by Zacian. It's tempting. Do we want Energy Recycler or we do not? Still a long way to go, man. This is still tough. Man, Luke Metal, man. Okay. I think we just knock him out with the active. We're going to get knocked out in return. We can do this, though. Okay. Maybe we get... Okay, maybe we get lucky we get Rare Candy Switch Blastoise. One time, bro. Oh, so close, bro. So close. We're going to switch off. But actually, we might be able to do something here. Watch. We can do this. We can get another Blastoise. We might be able to just retreat. Never mind. That, that was... That's a pipe dream. That's not happening anymore. One twenty minus sixty. You have to get rid of three energy. That's unfortunate. We almost, literally, almost got there off that Marnie. I was so shocked. If we had the Skyla to play, bro, would have been GGs. 
We can still win this, though. They still have to get another Zacian in play, and they have a four-card hand. There's a ton of energy. There's a switch. Yeah, it was prized. Maybe the other one might be prized, too. We can win this. Now we just gotta hope the Dene doesn't get KO'd. That's our win con. Luke Metal, I, I honestly, I think this matchup is good for us, but they had a really good start. If we if we didn't start with Crobat there, I think we would have been fine. Like, starting with Crobat was kind of the thing that hindered me there a little bit, not gonna lie. Yeah, starting with Crobat definitely wasn't helping our case at all. But it's fine. As long as they don't get another Zacian down and build it up, we should be able to win this. Because I'm assuming we have double Blastoise, so it's not too hard. All right. We should win here. This is very high odds of us winning this game. Very high odds of us winning this turn. They could win, though, too. They could have switched Doll Boss. Skyla. We'll play it. We could grab Energy or Cycler. That's only one energy, though. It's not worth it. I'm just going to get Research. We have three energy in our hand. We just need to hit... That's two energy. Okay. Start. One. Okay. That's five energy. That is a knockout, I think, right? That is a knockout. Is that game? I think it is. I'm two. The stupid metal goggles. Yes, it is game. Let's go. There we go. We took down ADP or ADP. We took down Luke Metal. One of my least favorite decks to play against of all time, Luke Metal. We took it down. Blastoise Gang. Love to see it. Now we need to try to use. Uh, nah, we need to try to use Blastoise Max next. So there we go. Nice little match there. Power of Rocket Splash. All right, again, this next match. Uh, one thing I'm surprised we haven't hit it as a fire deck, and I think we might have hit it here. We'll have to see. We do win the coin flip, which is nice. Here we go. Get another match. I'm hoping we can use Blastoise V this time. We haven't used it yet. All right. We got the double Squirtle start. Pretty good hand. And uh, we'll see what we're playing against here. We can Crobat or we can Dendene. Hmm. Okay. I might attach. Honestly, I might go for the Crobat play. It is tempting. Because, like, if we can go Crobat here, we might be able to get the playoff where we can go Rare Candy and Rocket Splash. Let's touch the active. Bench the Mew. Yeah, you never know. They might be playing Cram. I'll just pass. Yeah, I'm fine with this. I'm fine with this. And then next turn, we. Well, maybe we should have actually Quick Ball. No, maybe we should have put the energy on the Bench Squirtle and play the Switch next turn. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe we'll, we'll have, might have to just switch into Mune and just maybe Psy Power, which isn't terrible. We set up numbers with Psy Power, right? So, might not be too bad. Uh, yeah, I think I want to go Crobat. We can hit Skyla. We can hit Rare Candy. We can hit Rare Candy and Research. Okay, we're up against Urshifu. Okay. Oh, it's actually Single Strike Urshifu. Okay. It's not Rapid Strike. That's good. That is actually good. Is it? Yeah, it's fine. We have Mewtwo. Okay, there's a Marnie. Rip in the chat. There goes our hand, and you love to see it. But this, technically, this hand sucks. Especially with well, Prize Corbett to Dene, bro. Mm -mm -mm. So we actually do have to use Mewtwo here. Let's see what we get. Speak of the devil. Not a bad hand. Best top deck. Clearly, is Blastoise. It's definitely going to be a hand where we go Crobat, though. I might actually quick ball with my top deck. Okay, they're going to mention another to Dene. That's clogging their bench up quite a bit. That is clogging their bench up. So now they can only bench two Hound Hours and an Urshifu, but they also want to put Jirachi in play. Because I'm going to slap the Mew down here. So they might want to put uh, Jirachi in play. We'll see. If they actually clog their bench up right away, I'm going to be happy. And there's like Mewtwo. Easy. Oh, they don't even have energy for laser. Oh, but they capture energy. And we top deck the Blastoise. Let's go. So let's bench Mewtwo. We'll Quick Ball for the Crobat. We could, I guess we could have done Powerful Squall. No. Okay. We got Calm. We can get War Turtle. You get Blastoise V. Blastoise VMAX might not be bad in this matchup, to be honest. Uh, I kind of like, well, they're not going to knock me out next turn. So War Turtle is most likely the safer play. Yeah. I want to get Blastoise V, but uh, War Turtle is definitely the safer call. We actually don't attack them here. Because we don't want to give them... We don't want to let them go scroll energy knockout. So we're not going to attack them. Yeah, as much as I want to, it definitely would be good. And oh no, Marnie. <laughs> what are you doing, Marnie? How could you betray me? Oh no. We got another Marnie hand. Here we go. Here we go. They might Marnie me back though. We'll see. We can't bench a Squirtle because we need our bench spot open for, uh, what's his face? The Denier or something. Okay. Honestly, I might just go into Mew next turn and just do Psy Power unless we draw... If we draw Blastoise GX, we can retreat into Mewtwo. We still have a bunch of stuff we can draw. It's not over yet. We might just get Marnied again. 
now the Mewtwo's in play, they can't, like, they, they are limited to what they can manage. Like, they probably want to get a couple Hound Hours in play. But they also need another Urshifu in play for when this one gets knocked out. And they'll probably want a Jirachi in play because the Mewtwo's in play. Maybe they have to bench a Crobat, too, because we marted them into a bad hand. So, this seems decent. If they have bench Jirachi, that's good for us. We'll see what they got, though. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go into Mew next turn, though. It's not looking good. We could actually get another Blastoise down, though, and do another Powerful Squall. It's not really needed. I think we just go into the Mew if we can and just do side Power. And maybe just hit the Urshifu a couple times, just set up to be KO'd. Quick Ball. That could get him Jirachi, but again, they need Hound Hour. I guess it can Laser Focus, which kind of works, I guess. Okay, I was right. The Marnie did give him a bad hand. I called it. Good old Marnie. Always reliable. You can always rely on Marnie to give you a terrible hand. Because it's a very... Very, very cool card. So they actually have to play the Crobat. Now they can't even bet. Now they're limited even more because now they can't bench. Now they can't even bench two Hound Hours and an Urshifu or two Hound Hours and a Jirachi if they want. Now they can only bench a Hound Hour and like a Jirachi or like a Hound Hour, Hound Hour. So that's pretty good for us. And before they play Exile though, you never know. Yeah, we're going to have to go to Mew next turn. They could have a boss. Oh, they do have a boss. Okay, they trapped my Blastoise. That's fine. We have another one in our hand. This is like the only issue. See, like they, this guy keeps getting trapped. That's why I want to play more switching cards. This, this thing keeps getting stuck in the active. Actually, I wouldn't mind doing Hydro Attack, although just hit them for 150 and just get some damage on them so we can finish them off with Rocket Splash or Mewtwo or something. We'll see. We need a top deck. We got Marnie too, so we kind of we kind of got we got the bad end of the Marnie also. Powerful Squall is really good too. I might have to panic and evolve the War Turtle though, to be honest, because I'm, I might need to get another guy in play. It's a Quick Ball. Hound Hour, so no Jirachi, so Mewtwo can guarantee a knockout, but Mewtwo could also get knocked out by a boss too, but they are down two boss. They most likely only play three, so that last boss might be hard for them to find, so Mewtwo might be safe. They fail the laser focus? What's going on? Okay, we're still dead drawing. But we can do Hydro Attack. I think I'm gonna go for it. We might get knocked out. We have the other Blastoise, though. We could retreat a Mew, actually. Hmm. Well, Mewtwo is always... Yeah, I actually think we just go into Mew, to be honest. Fine. I'm, you know, yeah, we have Energy Cycle. It's not a big deal. We'll go into the Mew. It's still the freeze of a bench spot. Now we can bench another Squirtle because we need another Blastoise in play. Can they knock out my Mew this turn? Yeah, they just need an Energy. I'm hope They need a Marty Me, bro. If we don't, get, we don't draw something, we actually could be in trouble because we don't have an attack next turn. We don't have a current attack. We need to attack, though, so... They might not have an energy, though, maybe. We'll see. If they have their third boss in their hand, I'm gonna be so sad. That's gonna suck. If they have that third boss here, it's gonna be really bad. Okay, they got the knockout. They don't have their boss. Okay. We're gonna have to feed a War Turtle. Because if I go Mewtwo, could get knocked out. If I go Crobat, and they just need to knock out Mewtwo to win. As I say that, I draw the card we needed to get out of this situation. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. Powerful Squall. Yeah, rip. We could do Rocket Splash, though. Dang, if only I did promote Mewtwo, we would have had a KO. That's unfortunate. But we can knock him out, so. It's all good. The only problem is we're putting four energy back in the deck. But we are taking a couple prizes, so. This is fine. We just knock him out. Blastoise can't get knocked out in return, so it's all good. See, we get off the prizes here. Can we get something to help us out? For candy, that's nice. Another Blastoise. Which is good, too. They could trap us again with the boss. This at least gives us time to keep attacking, at least. We need to get, an, we need to get them an Urshifu V. Yeah, they need to get an Urshifu V Max in play. That'd be nice. Get three easy prizes. Very likely, though, we're like gonna we're just in a really good spot right now. We'll see what happens, though. Now, can my opponent knock? Pick a prize this turn. I don't think they can. Even if they go, er, or even if they go Houndoom into, into a scroll and a boss, my Squirtle, I guess that would do it. They would need double single energy though. They might have to sit back for a turn. They might have to sit back for a turn. So we'll see what happens. Stone energy. Okay, that does give them 220 HP, but that still means we can knock them out. They would need two stone energies to survive a rocket splash for 240, making us do 300. So that's actually fine. All right, what do they got? Do they got the spice? They can retreat to Dene. 
They have to sacrifice on this turn too. And they can't put the VMAX in play because if they sacrifice something here, assuming we do get a knockout. Oh, they actually give me this. They pass. Very ballsy. Especially because we're about to go double powerful squall. And okay, we'll just do this first. There's the two energy. We just take a knockout on Mewtwo. All right, this game should be over pretty much. Right, we go. Double powerful squall. Fails. Is this even a knockout? Yeah, we're doing 200 damage. It's a knockout. Jeez, you can't scare me like that, game. Jeez, you can't scare me like that, bro. Uh -oh. oh my gosh. All right, we got our prizes. The game's pretty much over. There's a comb. We can finally get to Dene. And there's a Marnie. All right. Game should be over. It's where the Mewtwo is good, right? Urshifu, my boys, weak to Psychic. Mewtwo just kind of cleans house and they concede. All right, let's move on to another game with the deck. Let's see, we got oh, 10 coins. All right, let's move on to the match. All right, getting into another match. We're up against a fire deck, I guess, maybe, maybe. We'll try to use Blastoise VMAX. We haven't used it yet. We just haven't been in a situation where it's been, like, that super useful. Um, ooh, this hand's not that great. Uh, the reason, the reason why I do play four Marnie in this deck, by the way, is because, one, if we have a bunch of energy in our hand, we don't want to research it away. Okay. Quick ball. Get rid of Blastoise. I mean, we have Skyla. We can just rely on Skyla, maybe. Hmm. Well, we can Skyla for Dedenne. Okay, let's get a Blastoise V here. I like this. Let's get the Blastoise. Let's get the Blastoise. I could get a second Squirtle, which maybe wouldn't have been a good idea. Maybe we should have actually switched into the V. Might have been a good idea. I don't really want my boy Squirtle to get knocked out. I think we're going to have the Dedenne this hand away next turn. Probably going to have to be what's going to happen to play to Dene here but we're gonna try to use blastoise vmax this might be a game where it could be useful but uh it's definitely like i think it's really good against like adp like that's where you really do want to use it against adp is where it's like gonna shine the most but my man's just we've been playing next where uh rocket splash seems to be the better attack you play against luke metal and orbital you need the rocket splash you play against you know, Urshifu, you need the Mewtwo with Rocket Splash. We've just been... Blastoise GX, every match we've ran into, Blastoise GX has been the main Pokemon that is used in that specific situation. Yeah, there's a Cram. Yeah, they're playing a Welder deck. The Cram Raid is a little annoying because it can spit shot my boy Squirtle, which is pretty frustrating. They do, of course, have their only Welder. Oh, boy. This is not good. My boy Squirtle's a goner. That's why I wanted... I mean, Switch wouldn't have done anything in this situation anyways, but... And we gotta hope Cram doesn't snipe me here. Because we can evolve War Turtle, we get Mew down, hopefully. And this Cramorant won't be an issue. I got a giant hearth. We need them to not find, um... We need them to not get a switch. Let's go. Pop deck one time. Let's go, we got the VMAX. Let's go. Quick ball. We have... Whoa! Uh, we could calm. I don't really care for the Blastoise GX, though. Actually, I do. Yeah, let's get calm. I think we actually should, because if they're playing a fire deck, we still kind of need a water attacker, so we should probably still save this. Grab the Dene. We have Mew in the deck. We could actually not evolve War Turtle, because there's a chance we do rip the uh, Rare Candy Blastoise, but, but I don't know. I'm just going to go for it. Yeah, maybe we should have, to be honest. Maybe we are going to hit Rare Candy Blastoise. No, not off that. Yeah, because we already Skylit, so... pass. Blastoise will take 160 damage. Cramory can't two-shot it, though, but then we can knock him out with, with G-Max Bombard, maybe. Um, well, they could goon two-shot me, because they can... I mean, I want them... To, if they go, like, Reshizar, that'd be pretty good. I will see what happens. We'll see what happens. Best top deck would be Blastoise GX, Evo Incense, Calm, or another Blastoise. We could just go double VMAX here, too. That might not be too bad. We'll see what my opponent's going to do, though. They need a switch out. They didn't get one. Okay, there's a scoop up net. We didn't get the Mew in play, so they are able to spit shot here. Kind of praying they knock out to Dene. That's not going to happen, though. It's obviously going to be the Squirtle or the War Turtle. But who knows? Maybe my opponent wants to kill the Dene. It's not the worst thing ever to knock out my boy to Dene, but it's probably going to be... Oh, it is! All right. I'm honestly kind of surprised they did that. All right, we're just going research here. We're full sending with the research. Best top deck is Blastoise a quick ball i can get us crowbat we're gonna play it uh we can also go marnie here too 
Okay, let's do this. We'll get rid of the research. We'll go with the Marnie Crobat play. I like this a little bit more. As long as we don't whiff a Blastoise out. Okay, good. Doesn't matter where I do this. Blastoise actually can get spit shot so we have to get the knockout. We have to go... We have to hit the G-Max Bombard. Bench you. Play the Marnie first. Okay. Got the GX. We got a double Blastoise. Do we... Uh, can't play Andrew Psyker. Hmm. Got to do this. We'll grab Blastoise GX. We'll thin out the deck by one card. We just need to get two energy here. Bro, we get one. Okay, that's a little annoying. We're going to have to go double Blastoise. But Blastoise VMAX can not get knocked down. Let's go Blacephalon, I guess. But I think we need to get this GMAX Bombard knockout. So here we go. Blastoise. <laughs> get that big knockout. Get that stupid bird out of here. And all right. I actually don't mind having the double Blastoise in play, though. In all honesty, I do want to get the other. I need to get Rocket Splash in play. But... Having the double Blastoise does mean that one Cramorant out of nowhere won't screw us over. But this game can always do Grand Falls. So it's like, we kind of did our job, but that felt pretty good. And now they have to check out a 330 HP Blastoise monster. Which I don't know if they can do. Do we have Mewtwo still? We do not. I don't know if we did have Mewtwo, but we're in a pretty good spot right now. If they knock out my Blastoise VMAX, um, we might lose the game. Yeah, we're going to lose if they... Well, okay. If they do knock me out, we need to get a Rare Candy Blastoise Rocket Splash in play. Knock up Blastoise on that, because that's the only thing that can really tank a hit from, like, Reshi's art or something. Because if we go Blastoise V, which we could do, it'd get knocked out by Flare Strike. Which I guess they can't do. And I guess Double Blaze won't knock it out. I don't know. Maybe we do. But then I don't want to have them just be able to go Goon Knockout. I don't know. We just got to hope we survive the turn here. And that's our only prey. They have to do 350 damage. And they've... I mean... If they're down 5, 7 energy. We'll see. If they get it, they get it. It's going to suck if they do. Best top deck would be... Best top would be a supporter or a rare candy or a boss. Oh, they had a fire crystal. They definitely have the knockout, right? Come on, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it to me. <laughs> if they knock me out, we might lose. No, they have the switch. Don't tell me they actually have enough energy to knock me out. No way. Not like this, bro. I can't go out this bad, bro. I can't go down bad. This is bad. Oh boy, do they actually have the... Uh, okay, you love to see it. That was very scary. What do we top deck? Boss. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Oh, never mind. Can we get a knockout with the other Blastoise? That's what I'm trying to do. There we go. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to go here. We're going to attach. We're going to switch. We're going to boss your Corio knock it out. Seems fine. Boom. And then Blastoise gets to stay around. And they can't knock me out with, like... They can still go Fireball Circus, but, like, they have a three-card hand. We took out their big Gora Corio. And there's a Marnie. There's a Skyla for Rare Candy, even. So, yeah. We could... In theory, we can still lose this if they knock me out with Blacephalon. But we just took out their Gora Corio. And that's, like, the biggest thing to knock out, right? So, we could still lose this game. But we'll see. Okay, there's Mew. That doesn't really make a difference. Well... Eh, they could cram my VMAX here. If they cram my VMAX. Um, we can Skyla for another Blastoise VMAX. Knock them out. And they have to do another 330. Oh, no. Then we win the game, actually. Yeah, that's fine. We can't do Torrental Cannon again. But what we can do, we can Skyla for a way to get VMAX in play. And then just go knock out the cram with most likely GMAX Bombard. Unless for some reason we somehow whiff an energy. But with an energy recycler and a double powerful squall, whiffing an energy is like super unlikely. They do not get my Blastoise here. We might lose the game, though, but we'll see. They might have a Dedenne in their hand. They're going to Mewtwo for the Welder. They, that last card of Dedenne. Bruh. Not like this, bro. I can't go down bad. All right, they're definitely KOing me here. Well, they are down 9 energy, actually. And they just put a Welder on top. That's one less card they have to work with. And they're down Nora Corio too. They could get a Cram play, though. I don't know, man. This Maybe this matchup's bad. I, I thought Blastoise VMAX would be pretty good, but... My man's just... It's the, it's the prize trade, bro. It's, they can go single prize, two prize, single, two, three, ten prize, bro. Yo, how are we gonna beat Luke Metal, Urshifu, and War Beetle, but we take an L to a fire deck with a water deck, bro? How does that ever happen? That's assuming we get knocked... If we get knocked out, I think we do lose this game. Even if we...
hope you guys enjoyed this feature video guys if you did enjoy the video on the blastoise deck leave a like i'm glad we actually got to use all the blastoises right we got we got to use baby blastoise blastoise v max blastoise v even did job justice and rocket splash and mewtwo so everything worked in this video but hope you guys enjoyed today's feature video guys if you enjoyed make sure to slap like the video subscribe down below if you're new to the channel we actually just reached 15k subs um so big shout out to you guys thank you guys so much for 15 pounds subs it does mean a lot that we reach 15k subscribers and hopefully i can continue to release fun decks and good content here's to 16k here's to 20k maybe we'll reach 20k hopefully by 2022 we'll have to see how things go thanks for watching guys check out all the socials down below my twitch my twitter my patreon all that good stuff i'll see you guys later Bye bye